Hello everyone, I'm Forrest McFreelava, and this is Let's Play Stellaris number one as the Republic of Virtue. We are a military republic, we are wormhole species, we are fanatic individualists, militarists, we are strong, communal, sedentary, charismatic, and prefer arid worlds. Uh, citizenship is reserved for those who have proved willing to sacrifice themselves in defense of the state. We are going... A prototype synthetic intelligence developed under utmost secrecy by the military. High Command has activated me to serve as your advisor and strategic analyst. Alright, so I should probably use the full tutorial, but we're going to go with tips only. I will provide tips explaining this is our construction ship which is used to construct space stations. When an astronomical object, such as a planet, has been surveyed, we can order this ship to build a research station or a mining station to exploit any resources it may have. Alright, so let's take a look. We'll probably need resources, just first and foremost. So let's go ahead and find our science ship. science ship, which is used to survey astronomical objects, such as planets in the star system. A planet needs to be seen. Okay, we're going to just skip on through that sort of thing. We're still paused. We're going to go ahead and survey this uh, just group of asteroids. Hopefully, we will be able to then just use our construction ship to Those scout it out. Used to protect our emerging empire from threats, or to expand our glorious rule through force of arms, if we so wish. All right. So, what we're going to do. Tab is where ah, we so much. Seats. Build new ships and upgrade the station itself. If the planet has no spaceport, we can order the construction of one if we have the necessary resources. We could build a science ship, or a construction ship, or a corvette. Uh, we'll go ahead and start off with building a science ship. So hopefully that's a good choice in the very beginning. We're going to explore those meteor these uh, asteroids. That's hopefully going to help us in some extent. We do have the first Husk Squadron. So let's go ahead and loop right on out here and take a look at what we've got. Uh, let's see. Another form of world. Habitable planet. That is very good. Uh, so let's see does not have tundra colonization. Hopefully we can colonize that, though. Tundra world, habitable world. Is there any way we can set up these things? Oh, also, an important note, we are playing a two-player... two players, basically. We're just playing with two players. I have my good friend, uh, Rock Slayer, as another empire somewhere in this crazy void that is the universe. And uh, just for your record, we are more of the more brutal type of players, so don't expect us to be helping one another out throughout, because that is just not how we, that's not how we go through our lives. So it's going to be interesting seeing how we eventually probably clash. Alright, we're going to start sending our military fleets. Uh, let's take a look. We'll send this one right on out and hopefully explore that bit. Alright, alright. Let's see, so our construction ship isn't really doing anything right now. Uh, we will have it go just to a various different place, somewhere we can actually reach. Oh, apparently we have a limit of our visibility. That's interesting. Alright, so our construction ship we will just kind of send over to there, just to look around a bit. Hopefully that's not a terrible thing to do. Our military fleet should also be getting on out of there, and our science ship will be exploring things within our system. All right, uh, let's take a look at our empire. Lists the planets of our empire with leaders and the different factions in separate tabs. It also lets us create and manage sectors. All right, all right. Uh, traits architectural interest. That's interesting. Uh, modules? Doesn't look like we can build any modules right now. No real reason to sort anything. Screen, we see a detailed list of all the various empires we have encountered. Their opinions of us are visible at a glance. 
Right. Quickly, and all the ships in use within a situation log displays a list of the budget tab tallies our Empire's monthly income and expenses in energy credits. Here we can also track a variety of effects that influence our economy. Alright, so it looks like everything's pretty much just straightforward for now. We have another election in five years, so that'll be interesting. Naval capacity is 12, build edicts and all these things, not really anything. Industrialist and space miner, so that's good. The policies tab covers government policies as well as empire-wide edicts, practices that can be enforced by spending some of our influence. Hmm. All right. So overall, fairly, fairly decent things. We could even speed up our research at the cost of ethics divergence. Hmm. Prohibited slavery, purge is prohibited, orbital bombardment is liberated, or, uh, limited. All these things, uh, hmm. We'll just not do that. Oops. Alright, so it looks like everything is basically straightforward technologically. Let's get this done. We directed our research efforts. Technologies are categorized into three different fields, with each field typically having three available research options. Whew! Alright. <laughs> Let's take a look. Let's get colony ships since we know of a habitable place. Let's go ahead and enter storage. That probably won't come up for a while. Physics labs will probably be a very good thing to get. Solar panel networks. Hmm, does increase our industry. We need industry first and foremost. Engineering, engineering facilities. We'll go ahead and get that. We are going to industrialize. We must have a core before we get a periphery. All right. And now, with bated breath, we'll go into the future. Let's take a look at the chat. And we'll see how this goes. So thank you very much for uh, just putting up with the first ten minutes as I just kind of figure out what all is going on. Uh, we are probably nowhere near actually being decent at this yet. Uh, so while we wait to get a response, Let's take a look. So we are the Republic of Virtue. We control basically just virtuous space. It is part of a thousand, thousand star galaxy, which is, as you can see, elliptical, which is probably going to help us quite a bit since we go off of like circular radii for our expansion. And uh, let's see, we're not getting any response back. I'm just going to spam him a little bit. Hopefully that will get his attention. And we've got our science ship doing some science-based things. Our construction ship is going to go out and explore. Our Let's take a look. Our military fleet is also going to explore. Hopefully we will get all of this exploration pretty much sorted out fairly quickly, get colony ships, and start colonizing. We'll build up our industrial base on our home world and generally just get everything figured out as best as we can, as quickly as we can. Uh, let's see... Factions... well, we don't really need to mess around with that right now. Let's take a look at Details Map Mode. What is all of this? Details Map Mode displays more information on the galaxy map. Well, why would we ever turn that off? Uh, so I believe this is our range, just in a general sense. It does make sense, as it's just a circle around our homeworld. We also have this area it appears we have explored somewhat, or at least have some vague visibility of. Uh, situation log shows really nothing going on. Alright, so we have domination or conquest victories. So, looks like that's kind of limited. Makes some decent amount of sense, though. Got Corvettes and various things, ship designer. We're not really going to mess around with the ship designer just yet. Empire. Right, we don't really need to worry around anything.
And we're just going to unpause and hope for the best. Alright, so I imagine we're going to see our ships just start going around and about various places. So this surveying is going on rather quickly, which is rather nice. I wonder if I can do shift orders. Whoops, that's not what I meant to do at all. Alright, survey, and then survey that. We'll just survey all the things nearest us, and then hopefully go grab that, uh, grab all that stuff. Technology's probably going to be the main thing we're dealing with right now. Uh, let's take a look at our home world. How do I click into home world view surface? All right. Alright, we're going to go slow speed for now just because there's so much. Alright, uh, let's go up to our map. We will go ahead and. Requires a scientist. Oh. Physics research, society research, engineering research, busy commanding. Oh no, uh, we'll recruit a scientist. Leader experience gain plus 15%. New world. Alright. We'll recruit this guy. Stop him on in charge and survey that system. Alright, we'll move this guy back. The fleet will keep moving forward. Oh no. These are unknown spacefaring entities. We can learn more about them and maybe even initiate first contact. Alright, well, we've got to deal with that immediately. It's coming right for us. Alien vessels, unidentified ships. They're just kind of flying around us, so I guess it doesn't matter too much for us. Still, it's a bit worrying. That's not exactly what I would like to have just kind of fly by us. Well, uh, let's go ahead and have this science ship just survey the rest of our system. All right. So they're all doing their things, at least somewhat. Uh, let's take a look at our home world. See if we can't build anything. Planetary administration. Power plant one. Power plant one. Some buildings may cause adjacency effects to other buildings in neighboring tiles. Let us take this into consideration when constructing new facilities. Hmm. Alright, and we are upgrading some things. Let's see. We could get a science lab. We could get more food. We will build an additional food building right there. And right. Hopefully that will speed up the rate of growth at least a little bit. We do have a mining network. Just quite a bit of things, all hopefully getting ready to just move forward. We'll build a science area right here eventually. Although we don't really want to spend all that much money at the moment. Alright. Let's see. Status idle. Let's fix that. Looks like there are habitable worlds basically everywhere. We'll send the fleet over to there. Looks like there are more unidentified things. Hmm. Alpha aliens. Right. So it looks like they're here. And right. Let's go back to this map. 
Saving game, currently not habitable. We do not have tundra colonization. We'll hopefully get that at some point. Those things are interesting. This is a science ship. Maybe we can go and science them a bit. Although, hmm. Can I research them? Is that how this works? What is it doing? What is the ship on its way to do? Following them. Alright, well they just escaped from the area, so let's not worry too much about it and just survey the system. Alright, this group's way out here now. Let's hop right on back. Looks like there's nothing really even potentially habitable here, so that's kind of a waste of time. Uh, let's take a look what this guy's up to. Looks like he's in the process of constructing that, so that's good. Now, where's our science ship? Just going around here. This dude's still surveying all of this. Alright, so everything seems to be more or less in order. Uh, let's go ahead and build ourselves nothing, since we can't. Overall, though, fairly straightforward things. Alright, we are being asked to go to normal speed, so we'll see what all happens. Hopefully we get updates when our fleets finish their missions. Beta aliens, okay. Oh boy. So that didn't take very long at all, and we found hostile aliens. Alright, uh, that's not ideal. Alright, on the bright side, we do have more of that now. This group is attempting to evacuate. Looks like they'll get out of there fairly easily. From time to time, our science ships will discover strange things while surveying worlds. These can be researched by scientists, but we certain their skills are up to the task. Well, let's research that thing then. Alright, uh, let's see... Alright, alright, alright. Let's see, what's all this? Unidentified objects, yeah, we've found a lot of those. Let's keep exploring. Alright, you can go ahead and just explore that system. Hopefully we'll find a habitable world. We need to really keep building up if we're going to stay relevant, I imagine. I have no idea what I'm doing, honestly, but it makes sense. Constantly build up, constantly improve, constantly move forward. Alright, so let's see, we're making plus one energy, so we should probably build a power plant. Uh, no, let's not do that. Hmm. Hopefully that group will grow fairly quickly. Continue to investigate these sorts of anomalies. Alright, we'll do that later on, perhaps. We're still kind of not doing much. Construction ship's not doing anything. Doesn't look like there's really much for it to do. Uh, we'll go ahead and just send it out to explore. First Fleet's also not doing much. Uh, we'll send them over here to explore. Alright. Mining station. Hopefully just keep doing all of its mining and whatnot. We should really work on upgrading our surface. Could build another hydroponics farm. Would probably be a good idea. 
so we'll begin. It'll suppress the one minerals, but do much better for us in the long run, I believe. Hostile fleet is present. Alright, you guys, just get out of there. We don't need to deal with that. Let's see. Uh, fleet stance. Evasive. No, 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 no. Get out. Don't attack them. Let's not antagonize anybody. Uh, evading hostile fleet. Good, good. You keep exploring. Let's get all of this worked out, guys. Let's do this. Alright, let's take a look at our science. We will get this done in 31 months. Quite an amount of time. Looks like our fleet is back. Failure is 70%. Uh, where do I see this? Go to. This is in somewhere completely different. Tomb world. Scanning the star and build a small object in rapid orbit at small size and high velocity make it difficult for our sensors to isolate. Failure risk of 70% means we're going to leave it alone. But we know that it's there. Anomaly's cool, it shows up. Oh wow. Uh, let's get out of that. What is all of this? Alien vessels, quite a few groups of them. They are actively hostile to us at the moment, which is a bit worrying. Uh, let's go ahead. System survey complete. Alright, we've discovered our own system completely. Science ship. Uh, let's go ahead and get you there. Survey that. Construction ship. Uh, let's see. We'll go have you survey that. Or, well, not survey, but at least look at. Okay, our scientist is leveling up here. Hopefully we'll be able to build engineering facilities and stuff. Produces 1, 1, and 2. Solar panel network produces 3 energy. We aren't making any energy right now, which is kind of terrible, probably. I assume. Alright, let's take a look. Can we upgrade this at all? No, we can't. What can we build? We could start building some warships. Although, no, we shouldn't because we don't have enough energy. Uh, how much can we store? 5,000. Anomaly, let's see. Do, 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 do. Oh, it's this one, right. Well, 45% ch chance of uh, failure. We'll go ahead and research it. I think that's the same thing. Yeah, it is, so let's close out of that notification. The construction ship's not doing anything anymore. We'll go move them there. Our military fleet's also not doing anything. Ancient proto-civilization. Interesting. Alright, uh, let's send these guys here. Alright. So that's right here, then. Anomaly found. Anomaly found. Do, 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 do. Alright, so it looks like we have a bunch of guys just researching various anomalies. This one has a very high failure risk, so that might fail for us, and that's worrying. We have discovered an actual different alien empire over there, so hopefully they're not going to be too unfriendly, or too hostile, whatever you want to call it. Uh, alien vessels all up in there. Alright, 
oh, this is a habitable world that we can actually actively habitate. Uh, let's go ahead and bring our construction ship back to our home world for now. Oh, build mining stations. Why weren't we doing that? I guess I didn't assume that we could, or I assumed that we could not. Alright, so hopefully everything is more or less moving forward at this point at hopefully a decent rate. Uh, random debris orbiting the star. Ah, oh, that's unfortunate. Failure. Well, darn. Uh, let's go ahead and work on our empire. Okay, let's see if we can't get any edicts going on. Huh, cool. Alright, let's see. How do I deal with our empire? Government. Alright, policies. Let's encourage free thought. Alright, uh, let's go back to the larger map. We've explored really everything we can touch. So with that done, we'll go back home. Alright, this is a place we're going to want to colonize. We can also research this place, probably using our construction ship. But he's currently building very important things for the maintaining and growing of our empire. Alright, hopefully our science will go at some decently quick pace, since we are encouraging free thought and everyone seems to be at least somewhat decent at this sort of thing. Alright, congrats on the system survey, let's go over to here, let's say. Survey that, hopefully find some habitable worlds. We might want to carve our way to the edge of the galaxy just so we don't get completely surrounded. Uh, so, in fact, we'll send one dude over here. Well, let's take a look. Potentially habitable. Potentially habitable. Ooh, three potentially habitables over here. We'll survey that. Make that a priority. This fleet. Well, we'll just have them do nothing for right now. We might want to upgrade just the size of our fleet with time. Hopefully we will be able to defeat some of these alien groups just kind of milling around. Although we may actually want to discover them. Negative balance on energy. Less than ideal. Station maintenance. That's probably going to be a problem. Well, alright. Let's take a look. We are building up our infrastructure quite a bit. I don't believe we have any ability of gathering resources from this place. Oh wait, no, we can. Cool. Sweet. That's what we'll be doing. Alright. Fully surveyed. Fully surveyed. Negative balance. Alright. Ooh, oh no. Oh, and they're powerful-ish. At least they're not very weak. Alright, our military fleet, though, is unfortunately weak. Alright, science ship, you go ahead and survey that system. We are finding out that the universe is rather hostile around us, which is a little bit less than ideal. going to do that. All right. There's quite a lot we can do. Well, let's not deal with that just yet since it isn't entirely relevant. The only thing worrying would be hostile contacting, or um, not hostile contacting obviously, but uh, contacting of various peoples and whatnot. Oh. 
So you discovered something interesting? No, I guess not. All right. We are still in negative energy balance. Luckily, we'll hopefully get that sorted out fairly quickly. And then from there, we'll research some new technologies and start really just expanding our empire, basically. It looks like we have finished this population. We are growing another one right there. Let's go ahead and build these guys. Probably a basic power plant, although... Well, I guess it's the same thing, really. Oh, it's just a module for things. All right, so we are positive energy credits now. Let's go over to here. Oh, wait, I'm selecting the mining station. That was dumb. Hmm. Doesn't look like we can build anything. Lacking 54 of that influence. All right, we'll keep him right here for now, then, since he can't really do anything of any use elsewhere. It looks like we are in a area that is fairly decent. Can we not send this guy anywhere else? Practically begging for some architectural work, archaeological work. Let's research it. Why not? Build mining stations, build research stations. Hmm. Mining stations might be helpful. Oh, I see, because it's in our space we're able to do that. Well, let's see. Mining... Yeah, let's build the mining stations. We'll just send them there for now and then deal with the mining station question later. Alright, overall though, things seem to be pretty decent. 24 months until our colony ships are ready to go. We'll colonize right there, colonize right on over there. Doesn't look like anything's going on down here. I believe he might be researching an anomaly at the moment. Or no, he's just surveying the system. This guy's researching the anomaly. First Husk Squadron isn't going to be doing much for now. Let's go to our planet. Surface level. Let's go ahead and build up some power plant. Yes. Make digital reproductions of monolith widely available. System survey complete. Hmm. I don't know. I mean, obviously, it would be very beneficial right now to get the engineering research gain. I guess we'll just do that. Science 1, society research. Okay, so 1, 1, and 2. That'll probably boost us up to researching that completely. All right, there's all sorts of anomalies. It's very, I guess, not anomalous, actually. It's rather common. This sign ship's not doing anything. We will send them over to here, survey that system. Previously encountered hostiles over there. We will eventually want to start reaching out and actually exploring and talking to these various peoples. So let's go ahead and spaceport build. We might want to build another science ship, but that might be a little, little much at this point. As that is quite a lot to build. We are building it anyway, though. I'm just, just gonna do that. All right, let's con let's get these guys. Let's go ahead and build a mining station right there, and then we'll shift order them to build. Can we not? Well, hmm. Huh, that's interesting. Construction ship. What about right there? No, hmm. Do we have a limit on how many of these we can build? Oh, it's a barren world. Hmm. Okay, found a transmitter. 
we have finished this research. Let's get a new one. Defense platform, iron thruster, and coil gun. Let's get defense platforms. Survey marker, place your eons ago. Quite a bit of energy. Alright, we don't have the resources to build anything more right now. We'll recruit a new leader, research speed, materials, research speed, new worlds, anomaly research speed, we'll recruit him. We have a lot of leaders right now. Alright, let's jump out with these guys. Maybe we can try to contact someone. Oh wait, uh, let's see. Contacts. Literally no one is showing up. Alright. Right, so it's almost like we just don't have any. Situation log. Uh, can I not research them all? Oh, it, re it pauses our society research. Well, here, let's... Ah, uh, well, I guess we're committed. Ah, uh, but we're so close. Okay, research speed plus 5%. That's a very good idea. Survey speed plus 15%. Let's get research speed up. We're finding a lot of these communicating devices, which is kind of worrying for us long term. Let's go ahead and send this dude over to survey. What is this guy up to right now? In orbit. Well, hmm, that doesn't help us very much at all, does it? Uh, I thought we would be using him to actively explore things, so we'll just have him survey systems. Intel level low, low. Doesn't even mention intel level in the places that we have really gone into. Our energy credits are building up, which is great news. We can hopefully just start really expanding now in some way or another. So let's go ahead and build another construction ship. We really need to upgrade our military, I'm starting to think, just so we don't, you know, delay it too far. Do anything too significant. Busy with special project investigating the Delta aliens. Well, we're going to go ahead and once the Delta aliens have been discovered, just focus on getting colony ships out. We'll colonize everywhere we possibly can. Alpha aliens are doing something or other. Not being hostile. Fleet order. Finished. Alright, so that's, uh, they've built that. Can we build anything else? Yes, we can build a mining station. What about right there? No. Alright. We'll build a mining station. We should also probably build something for defense, and we have an arid world there that is fairly decent. Alright, construction complete. Principium. Alright, new construction ship has been constructed. And I realize again why we hadn't been rushing that. And it's because everything else is kind of outside of our system range right now. We can't build a frontier outpost because it's not been surveyed and we lack a lot of money and... Actually, you know, that would be rather rather straightforward to be done. Can't get there because we can't actually reach. We'll go survey that. Looks like there are worlds and things over there. Alright, I'm feeling fairly confident. Not that I have any reason to. But it does look as though everything is more or less running okay. I was worried because of all the hostilities we really just rambled into. But it looks like it wasn't really that much of an issue. Okay, report of strange free floating crystal like objects observed in certain systems has been investigated. The ship has objects and they're slightly smaller but equal. Equally crystal like satellites appeared inert but sudden shifts in their orientation. Da 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 da
studying shattered crystal crystals will lead interesting results. Abandoned ship has been left to drift. Well, let's research it. Alright, you guys aren't doing anything. We know now without a doubt that thriving biosphere is not something unique to Principium. Principium. Both the scientific community, da 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 da. Planetary survey app. Yes, let's do it. Situation updated. We'll send these guys out to survey. Construction ship. Can we build anything there? It doesn't look like it. Tundra world doesn't allow us to build on it, though. Frozen world, toxic world, tropical world. And it's just slightly out range, or out of the range of our empire. Can we build anything else in here? Cool. To do, do ruling council, we hope for a productive relationship with your impressive nation. Our military has been interested to treat your species with respect. Countered alien life, we are not alone. Alright. And we get even more engineering technology. So things are going well. Technologically, we are nine months away from colony ships, which we will then begin to just spam out loud. Alright, cool. So these are the Zans, the Republic of Zanami Worlds. Sorry for just jumping back and forth into that. Uh, let's see. Physics engineering will be delayed, and we do want those AIs. But that is interesting. Uh, contacts. Military junta. Hegemonic imperialists. They are collectivists, xenophiles, and militarists. They're wary of us. Their power is vaguely equivalent. The diplomacy screen is where we communicate with other civilizations. Here we can declare war, form alliances, and implement trade deals with our neighbors, amongst other things. Alright, we're gonna just set up an embassy because it's probably not a bad idea. Leaders gained a level, good, 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 good. Alright, yes, we are not terrible failures yet. Yeah, I say, that's terrible, that was horrible, why would I say that? We're doing okay. I don't think we're about to conquer the universe or anything, but we're also not going to die in a terrible fire. And once we get colonization ready, uh, alien vessels, Epsilon aliens, interesting. Good lord, there are so many aliens. Oh, we can build mining stations, let's do that. Any mining stations to be built there? No, nothing. Alright. Ooh, okay, new console. Consular elections. Off-world miner, minerals, all that. I do want to support him, though. Faction support, 100%. I don't understand why he wouldn't get more votes. Energy credits and food. Or minerals and constructor build costs and mining station costs. We're getting plus 8, plus 16. Well, let's go ahead and support him. Do-do-do. Let's research that. Right, I think we're doing decently well. Let's go ahead and go to our home world. Surface. Primitive aliens life. Pri primitive alien lives. Interesting. Let's also clear that. And we can't really build anything now because we need more minerals. Cool, primitives. 
I wonder what we can get from uh, just messing around with them. Union of Glyblovia. All right. More and more aliens. Let's take a look at our contact screen. Superior. Ooh. Theocratic. They are militarists and fanatic pops. They're not a fallen empire, though. They just have a better country than we do. Communicate. Let's go ahead and establish an embassy with them. Confirm. Alright. Okay. Leadership and experience. Scientists and stuff. We have our same ruler as before. Darn, we lost that one. Alright, no matter. And they are superior to us militarily, it would seem. So let's go ahead and work on that. Let's take a look. We are one month away from completing colony ships, so let's actually not worry about that just yet. Hopefully we have enough minerals. We could probably trade someone energy for minerals. That might be good to do. Uh, sorry for just jumping in and out a bunch. Colony ship requires 350. System Genome mapping, that's good. Farming subsidies, food plus 25%, hydroponic farm 2. Let's get this one first. Actually, ah, well, whatever. I realize now that we can't actually just expect the others to come back, so that would have been better long term. Oh well. Research complete. Let's see. Let's end you. System survey complete. All right. Let's survey that system. System survey. Complete. All right. We need. We need to get more energy. Powered exoskeletons. Baratheon power plants reveals Baratheon. All right, let's get that. You guys go ahead and explore, survey these systems. Let's go to our contacts. Communicate. Offer trade deal. So we need minerals. They have very few. We can give them energy for it. Oh wait. Oh wait, 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 wait. Uh, let's see. Wow, they really need it. Well, never mind then. That's all this. Some sort of ships are coming and being a problem for us. Uh, let's send our own squadron over there. Okay, it looks like they also are, ev are ev avoiding us, evading us. We need to get our minerals up. Otherwise, what are we doing? Uh, let's take a look. Contacts. Communicate. Get an 
jumps and star charts. Oops, uh, let's see. Hopefully they'll accept that. Alright, what's everyone doing? Science ship's doing nothing. Can we not reach there? No, we cannot. Hmm. Mining station's built. So it looks like they didn't accept that. Oh, okay, so they have to be at least at plus one. Hopefully that'll actually confirm then. Come on, why are they not accepting this? System survey complete. I wish I would get even even just an alert that it wasn't going to be accepted. Because that is just upsetting, honestly. Oh well. I guess nothing we can really do about that. Come on, give us 150 Star charts, come on. There's just nothing going on with them. I mean, what what am I missing? Why why can't I make this trade deal? They just don't seem to want to do it. Offer trade deal. Minerals, instant transfer. Alright, it's at zero now. Energy transfer, instant transfer. I mean, obviously, I don't want to do that because it's such a bad deal. Thank you, okay. Yes, we finally got a trade deal. It took a lot of effort though, just a lot of convincing them. Just too much. All right, there's a rivalry going on in the distance. Uh, we got a message. <laughs> Hopefully he'll understand that that means no, I don't want to do this. Oh, dude, no we're not. Don't be so worried. Get us a colony ship. Start doing all sorts of colony. Let's take a look. 
We're not really losing energy credits, though, is the upsetting part about that warning. Alright. Research. Oh wow, we got a lot. Ooh, that just went from neutral to hostile basically immediately. Hopefully they leave us alone. Alright, looks like somebody went ahead and started doing that. Some various rivalries between unknown peoples. System survey Alright, arid world 80%, 80%, 80%. Actually, we could see the quality of these worlds. We can. Planet size 17. Nice, that's probably a lot. No real resources, though. Planet size 20, that is much more. A few more resources. Uh, let's see what's over here. Planet size 12, so much less awesome there. Well, let's go ahead and volatile resources. Where is this? Just some random place. We'll do it responsibly. Let's survey that system. Physics Lab 1 is probably a good idea. System Cool, we got some maps. Cost us a lot, but we got the maps. They didn't actually explore very much at all, which is interesting. Uh, Intel level medium. Hmm. Well, let's not actually go there. Looks like we have surveyed basically everything. Uh, the worrying bit about that meaning that now our ships are kind of just doing nothing except soaking up resources to stay around. Alright. At any rate, though, we can start colonizing in just a moment. And once we do, we'll just go rush over to here, take this really awesome world, and rush over to there and take that one as well. Really just start producing nothing but colony ships for a while. Are these the guys we already traded with? Union of Jibuya? Yeah, um... Oh wait, no, that was the thing that they accepted from us. Looks like there's more ancient proto-civilizations uh, proto just around and about. 24, that's a really good world though. Interesting. Employment. Right. Let's help these people. Build. We do need to build some mineral silos or no. 
mining networks perhaps produces some more. That's a good idea. Should probably be clearing out all of our slums as well. Alright. Our science ships are really at the point where we can't do very much with them. Which is a bit unfortunate. How much longer until our colony ship is done? 14. Alright, so we're close. We'll get that done pretty soon. Influence. Uh, upgrading planetary capital, declaring other empires your rivals. We have enough influence right now, so let's take a look at some edicts we can use. Uh, negative balance, one to weigh pretty quickly. Let's take a look. Now, I'm not sure what happens to the resources underneath your initial colonizing machine. Either they are ingrained in it or they are lost. So we're going to just go ahead and place it probably just right there because I don't really know. Alright, with that all said and done, we'll probably wait until we uh, figure that all out. And then potentially just end this episode there. Uh, let's go ahead and let's see. What should we do right now? We can't build another colony ship because we don't have the money for it. Uh, the surface, though, we are getting rid of that in a moment, so that'll be very nice. Constructing a mineral network. That's their happiness. It looks like we are producing more people over here, and they will build energy in a moment. So that's good. That's good. Alright, I wait with bated breath as these guys go ahead and get that whole thing set up. Uh, what technologies are we reaching or researching? We're researching pretty much all of them. We can get more farming, which will be nice. Alright. And we'll just uh, we'll go ahead and colonize this place. Let's go ahead and Yep. All right. Uh, map. Where's this hostile fleet? Oh, thank God they went past it. Technology. New research. Biolab one. Monthly influence. Propaganda broadcasts. Additional happiness. That would be nice. Survey data. Hmm. Alright, cool. Oh wow, 8 energy each month, and take 13 months. Alright, that's going to be expensive. Is there anything we can construct over here? Research stations. Uh, let's not build research stations just yet. We could build a frontier outpost over here though. That'd probably be a worthwhile venture. Could move over to a place that has a lot of energy, like Ribbon right there. Right there's probably a nice place to go since that has a tremendous amount of resources, so it would be over here. Really, we just need minerals right now. Minerals for colonies, colonies for progress, progress for the glory of our people. And all of it is going to require energy. Can I upgrade it? No, I cannot, but we can build... Upgrade this power plant here. It's actually really cheap, so that's good. Alright. 
Let's see. We'll just have these guys go here for now. And right. Let's, uh, let's go ahead and call this episode right now, now that we have finally colonized an additional portion of territory. And yes. So, thank you very much for watching. Please like, share, and subscribe. We will be back with more. Hopefully we'll get more into the swing of things and see just all we are doing. Let's go ahead and pause this.